Hey everyone, Tragic here to tragically open some more old pre-modern Magic the Gathering packs. Let's do it. Um, don't try this at home. It's not economically feasible, as they say. But anyway, here we go. Pack a nemesis up first. And we will make sure to scan up the rare and see if we uh, make any money back here. So we got uncommons on the top. I'm going to flip them. One, two, three, four. That should be the rare. It's upside down, like I've noticed with uh, this particular set, I think, in the past. So that's interesting. So a Sky Shroud, uh, Sky Shroud Claim is a good common. We'll go ahead and scan that. So here's my scanner. And see if it's worth a little bit. Yeah, there's a buck right there. So we're off to a good start with a common. Plague Witch, Infiltrate, Flowstone Wall. I was not playing during this time, so I'm going to take my time and kind of look at the art of this set. There's a Rebecca Gway art card. Always worth the price of admission. Spiteful Bully. And a topple. So here's some uncommons. Rejuvenation Chamber. Ancient Hydra. A Jolting Merfolk. And an upside down Parallax Nexus. For uh, two colorless and a black, it's an enchantment with Fading 5. Ah, the popular uh, mechanic of fading. Remove a fade counter from Parallax Nexus. Target opponent removes a card in his or her hand from the game. Plays the ability only if you could play a sorcery. When Parallax Nexus leaves play, each player returns to his or her hand. All cards he or she owns removed from the game with Parallax Nexus. Probably a little hard to pull off, but there we go. Let's scan it. It is a 37 cent card, so there we go. Our first rare. All right, let's check out Weatherlight. Uh, very cool set. I happen to like quite a bit. And I believe this one is the same where these are going to be uncommon. So I'm going to flip them. One, two, three, four. That should be the rare. Let's go. Mindstone. Another good un or another good common. So we're starting off with two good commons in a row. Yeah, buck twenty. There we go. Common section doing the work here. Heavy ballista. Bit of rage. Abyssal gatekeeper. Look at that guy. I remember having this car when I was a bit younger. Honey misery, same thing. Yeah, this is my jam here. Another Rebecca Gway card. Cannot go wrong. Rogue Elephant. Dusk Rider Falcon. Lanowar Druida. So is this? Nope. Okay, this would be the first uncommon. Festering Evil. Phantom Warrior. Dingus Staff. Look at that Dingus. And a Morinfen Legend. For five, it's a. 5-4 flying with a cumulative upkeep of one life. So every turn, you have to pay an extra one life. So turn two, that this is out, you pay two life. Turn three, you pay three life, right? Uh, that's another one that is probably not going to be worth much. 48 cents. I think that might even be a reserve list card, but there it is. You can reserve it back to the pile. Pack of Homelands. Not a whole lot to love out of this, but... It's a fun set. Magic the Gathering, back in the day, it was so fun you can't even open it. All right, hold on, get it open. So this one only has eight cards. And uh, this one, the pack order confounds me. So I might have to scan a few of these to see. Reef Pirates, I think might be an uncommon. Alavan's Tower, a Leaping Lizard. That's hilarious. Feast of the Unicorn. Memory Lapse, Ambush Party, Roshka the Slayer is an uncommon, and Sarah Inquisitors, is this the rare? I have never cared for the art on this card, sorry, Dennis Detwiller, uh, I just always thought that one was kind of weird. Uncommon, no, so that's an uncommon. The Memory Lapse isn't a rare, is it? Ah, Alright, let's scan them. Ambush Party, Common. Which one is it? Is it the Leaping Lizard? Too much glare. All right, we're gonna give up. 
I don't think any of those were big cards. <laughs> if you know which one was the rare and you really uh, want to let me know down below, go for it. There we go, Homelands. On to Prophecy. I think the last time I opened one of these, I got a Rhystic Study, which is the best card out of the set. And it is, of course, a common. So we'll be looking for another one of those. It would be against the odds. Uh, again, four to the back. Panic Attack. Fenstalker. Plague Fiend. Mind Bearer. Griffin. Aristic Deluge, not Aristic Study. Steel Strength. Stormwatch Eagle, Spore Frog, I think, actually, I don't know if this is going to be a whole, any kind of money, but it is actually, uh, yeah, it was reprinted in Modern Horizons, so it was kind of an okay card, it's usable. Alright, Uncommons, we got Outbreak, Chimeric Idol, Rhystic Siphon, and Megeta the Lion for the rare. 3-3 three, three for 5, Spell Shaper Legend, you see a bunch of Spell Shapers around anymore? You can pay four to tap and discard two cards from your hand, destroy all creatures except for Megeta the Lion. Those creatures can't be regenerated. Wow. Not bad. I mean, it's got an interesting effect. It's uh, pretty powerful, honestly. It just costs a bit. So there we go. 74 cents. All right. Alliances. I've yet to find a force of will out of my box of alliances that I'm going through here. Let's get one now. Just like Homelands, this is like the 12 cards, and I do not know the order. So let's go. Mishra's Groundbreaker. Let's just scan that up. Is that an uncommon? It is. Feast or Famine. That's a common. Okay, Deadly Insect. Common. Urza's Engine. Uncommon. Soldevi Heretic. See, the order is like whack. Common. Enslaved Scout. He's, seems like a common. Wild Aster. Seems like a common. Reinforcements. Casting of Bones. Berserker. Undergrowth. So Devi Sage. Is that the rare? Crazy. That's a common. Reinforcements. I'm going to find it. Wild Aster. This might have been one of those sets that has not rares but uncommon twos and threes something like that now gorilla berserkers common the undergrowth could it possibly be no so like there was some some uncommons here in that pack and none of them were worth anything so there you go with alliances and let's move on to onslaught and get a fetch land come on I haven't found one of those yet in my box of Onslaught either. So this is the standard pack order. We got uh, commons at the front, Severed Legion, Defender, a Goblin Taskmaster, Aven, Crown of Vigor, Wellwisher, Siphon Soul, there's Phage, Defensive Maneuvers, Gust Cloak Harrier, Skirk Commando, Misform Dreamer. Okay, so uncommons, Thunder of Hooves, Ghost Helm Courier, Chain of Smog, and that does not look like a fetch land. It is a Goblin Pile Driver though. Yeah, that's a pretty good card. For two, you get a Creature Goblin. That's a one-two. Protection from blue whenever Goblin Pile Driver attacks. Gives plus two plus zero until end of turn for each other attacking Goblin. It's reprinted in like M14, I think. Five bucks still. There we go. It's our big winner so far. Okay, we really need to step it up here with this pack of 7th edition this is all about the foils commons on the top cloud chaser eagle elemental sage owl a rampant growth dread skeletons circle protection blue you don't see this art as often I feel like because a lot of this has not been reprinted lately I think stream of life Ostracize, Uncommons, Baleful Stare, Bull Hippo, Abyssal Spectre, oh, there's a Swamp, and a Relentless Assault, and no foil. Relentless Assault is a sorcery for four. 
Untap all creatures that attack this turn. You get an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase this turn. Second combat phase. 75 cents. All right. Moving on. Last pack is this pack of Stronghold. Can we get one of the big hits out of this? I'm hoping. And I believe we're doing this thing again. One, two, three, four. To the back. To the front. Mana Leak. Sky Shroud Archer. Change of Heart. Seething Anger. Spike Colony. Mog Bombers. Rush with Death. Cloud Spirit. Smite. So I think this is the first uncommon. Contempt. Cannibalize. No, it wasn't. So this is the first uncommon. Here we go. Walking Dream. Crystalline Sliver. One of my favorites. We'll scan that up too. Got a Mog Maniac. Crystalline Sliver. 547. Mog Maniac. And the rare. Skeleton Scavengers. Not a big one. For three, you get a 0-0 zero, zero Skeleton. Comes into play with one 1-1 one, one counter on it. Pay one for each 1-1 one, one counter on Skeleton Scavengers. Regenerate Skeleton Scavengers and put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So, I'd have to check the errata on this. Can you pay at the time that you cast? Or do you just, as a sorcery, pay to put more counters on this and then it has the effect of regenerating it I'll bet that this has been reworded at some point over the year let's check it out it's a 39 cent rare so big whiff on all my packs here got a couple of five dollar cards and had a lot of fun doing it so I hope you guys enjoyed watching it make sure to check out my other videos like and subscribe and comment down below tragic MTG out